welcome to another fantastic episode of the Retro Squat podcast, hosted by Chris and Ken. Ken and Chris, alphabetical. Is that how? What do you like better? Ken, we've always gone Ken and Chris or Chris and Ken. We've we've gone back and forth. I know we have. It doesn't make a difference either to either you or me. Yeah, it doesn't. I matter. feel like whoever says whatever they say at the time. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, Ken, I'm gonna I'm gonna start this off by telling you that when I when I wrote down on our little retro squat sheets. <laughs> Um, I swapped, I wrote my TV and my movie spot and my, and my movie and my TV spot. So I had a, so I had a swap. That's a little tidbit for you. Amateur. That's what they call, that's amateur. That's tidbit. called amateur. That's an amateur, yeah. That's called being. This is amateur hour. This hey, is, welcome amateur. to amateur hour with yep. Ken and Chris. Yep. We're, Must be amateur. Chris Nith and Ken Shit. No, our names no. do not, do not, do not meld. They do not squat together at all, dude. We, can, we can't squat That's the so names. weird. Our names don't, Kenneth and Christian. Yeah. Kenshin and Chris Smith. Nope. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't work. It's been long. It's, lo- it's, it's basically like Mike Tyson celebrating yeah. <laughs> the 25th of December. Chris Smith. <laughs> Chris Smith. Anyway, Ken, you got, you got, you said, I think you got something for me. You said you had a question for me. Don't, don't. I had a question before for you. Didn't you say you had a little question? I forgot for what me? the question was. Oh, you yeah. can ask me a question. All right, describe your, I know, I don't want we do this every time. Describe your movie in two words. Two words. Here's the thing. My two words would be... Now get... My my two words... It looks like my thing would have two words. If I had one word, it would be TV. <laughs> but TV, you would think is two words. Because it's a T and a V. But so the, I'm sitting here going... Those words are letters. It's two letters. Correct. Okay. T and V. You'd think that would be two words. Normally, that's how it works. Wait, are you talking about your movie or your TV my show? Movie. Oh. My, mov- my movie. My movie. <laughs> your movie. Your movie. My movie. Don't look at my stuff first of all. I can't. Dude, I can't see okay. that from here. I'm dude, lucky if I can see your all, face. Second of all, if you, if you say TV, that sounds like, oh, I can make this into two words because oh, my yeah, one TV, word would right, be TV. Okay. Yeah, right. Two words would be TV. Yeah, but television is one word and TV is short television. I don't so. understand it. It's just a strange okay, thing. G- give me one word. Now Now it's one word. In TV, one word. television. <laughs> okay, Television. Great. What's yours? Scratch. Or scratch. Dead. Um, I'll give you two words. Scratch dead. Scratch dead. That doesn't make any sense, but I guess we'll figure out it how will. that works. Oh, it will. Soon enough. Anyway, movie squad it up. Let's go. Yeah. We got right here. Let me see what you got, buddy. Above suspicion. Ooh, uh. yep. Christopher, oh, Christopher Reeve, Reeve. Joe Mantegna. Uh, we can, still don't know how to say the name. Montaigne. It's been a, it's been a many episodes, and I still don't know how to say that name. It's Montaigne. Kim Cattrall. Kim Cattrall. Cattrall. Oh, Cattrall. Cattrall. Yeah. Wait, is it? 1995. 95. She was attractive back then. <laughs> Big trouble, little China man. Yeah. Who's well, this green-eyed girl? Who's this green-eyed girl? So, that's what we have here. Tell you a little bit about it. Okay, go ahead. In a minute. You tell me what you oh, got. Oh, sure. Give me a little tidbit. The Black Cat. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. I just wrote all those time codes in the wrong spot because I swapped my thing. Uh, okay, so go ahead. So I have the Black Cat. You want me to tell you about the Black Cat or you want to, or you want me to tell you about the... We can, uh, Actually, no, you got to go, go. You go. You let, me, go let me get this out of the way. first. Go. William H. Macy has a part in this movie. <gasps> oh, I love him. All right. A bit part. Not not a big part. However, remember this. This is going to be the Will, William H. Macy. Christopher Reeves in this too. Bookends. Yes. Christopher Reeves is in this. He plays Dempsey Kane, who is a cop who was um, hit by a stray bullet from a, a drug dealer. Brother's also a cop. And I believe he was covering for his brother or looking out for his brother or something like that. And the drug dealer hits him, paralyzed him. Mm. That's what happens, okay? So he's he's all, woe is me, all this stuff. And when he's in the hospital, his wife got close to his brother, right? And he finds out about it. Who's his brother? His brother is named... Played by who? Uh, Nick. His brother is named Nick, played by Edward Kerr. Oh, okay. Which I don't know. So, I so mean, far, you haven't told me any of the people I'll that are killed okay. on the actual Have you ever poster? seen Sequest DSV? Yes. He played Lieutenant Brody on CS Sequest DSV. The guy with the brown hair? <laughs> sure, man. I don't remember. Okay, Sure. Yeah. Which is weird because um, 
Don't tap. I know. I'm tapping because I'm thinking. Nope. We don't tap and think. Is it Roy uh, Scheider? Yeah, Roy Schneider. Scheider. Scheider. He was in Sequest DSV. That's correct, yeah. But he also played Brody from Jaws. Yes, that's, yeah. Chief Brody. Yeah. That was his name. So and then he had a character named... Lieutenant Brody on the same show. Like, come yeah. on. You know that was named yeah. after the guy. Oh, of Jaws. course. It was anyway, so he it tells his wife and he tells his um, brother, like, hey, I got this insurance policy out. Why don't you come and... There's still Wayne, Will and Chase, Macy, There's, right? That he was guy? in the movie. But that, that's what you're talking about. No, no, no. Who's talking about Christopher Lee Reeve? Oh, he got shot. Christopher Reeve I got that. shot. Sorry, I missed yes. that, dude. Christopher Reeve is the main character. Oh, and he okay. Yeah, that. Dempsey Kane gets shot, and he basically tells his wife and his brother, "Hey, mm-hmm. I don't want to live anymore. I took out an insurance policy, but I can't get it if Can I kill myself. Life? Yes, okay. but I can't get it if I kill myself. Mm-hmm. So I want you guys to come and kill me for me, kill and make me it look for like." Me? Yeah, make kill me for like me. A... Make it look like an accident. Make it look like a botch robbery. Oh. They go over there. He's waiting for them. And he takes them out instead. Because <gasps> he knows. Yeah. Because he knows. He loaded their guns with blanks. She she lays into him because she's like, I want to be with the brother. I don't want to be with him. He's yeah, miserable. Yeah. All like, this, this is But he's a pretentious fix. cop, all this stuff. Yeah. So he's waiting for her. Takes them out. Wow. This other cop, Joe Mantegna, is on to him. Oh. He's on to him, and he knows there's something going on with this oh, guy. Like, there's something going on with this okay. guy. However, Dempsey's smart, man. He is smart. He's he laid out everything, the paths for for how they, you know, got the the guns, all this stuff. Like everything he, led to yeah, he, he's yeah. innocent. Yeah, yeah, okay. And he was in the courtroom, and 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 the Joe Mantegna's like, no, he he can he can walk, he can do all this stuff. He has feeling his leg, and he stabs him with a uh, pen knife, a uh, letter opener. In and, the leg, yeah, and he, but he was ready for it. Dempsey was ready for it, so he didn't react or anything. And and he got and then uh, Joe Mantegna got kicked off the force. You get a, he got kicked out. He was fired. He was done because he wow. had this. Yeah, so he got away with it. He got away with it. Yeah. Dempsey, yeah, Christopher Reeve. Of course, yeah. I remember that. Super. He gets away with it. Anyway, Clark Gregg also had a small role in this movie. I don't know who that is. Clark Gregg, Lieutenant Coulson, or Agent Coulson. Oh, Clark. Oh, Man, God, yeah. yeah. I, I forgot that guy's name. Right. The reason why I said this is TV because it was an HBO movie. Uh, so, okay. okay. It was, yeah. it was on HBO. Right. Still a movie. Though. And uh, so Filma. the other little tidbit that I'm going to tell you. Remember the sandwich? Whose sandwich? What's the name of the sandwich? I don't know what. You're what did I start about. off with? Who has a bit part in this movie? William H Macy. William H Macy also helped write this movie. Oh. <laughs> Back in the day, this was one of his yeah. earliest gigs, and he wow. was one of the screenwriters on this. Good movie. for him. Yep. I love that guy, man. Yeah. Shameless so. is a great show, and he was wonderful in Fargo. Fargo is a great movie. It's a great show, too. Yeah, I didn't see the show, but he's not in it. Oh, anyway, tell me, tell me what you got. I have a movie called The Black Cat. It's from 81. There's a doozy. I'm going to give you some names that you're not going to know. Is it like The Pink Panther? Nope. Is it like a nope. spinoff? Nope. Patrick McGee. Yep, count it. Patrick McGee, Missy Farmer. Directed by Lucio Fulici. Ful- Fulci. Okay? Is it a, he did the horror movies. I think so, yes. This is a horror movie. This is a horror movie. Do you need the skull? Um, do you have the skull handy? I, I can't see it. No. It's in the bag. Okay, I'm not you getting up. You have to get the I'm skull. I'm not getting up. You have Listen, to get the skull to roll. Scotland Yard. The skull. I got up and walked around everything to get oh, the so skull. Oh, crying out loud. The creaking you hear is his back and his hips. It is not the chair. Where's the skull? Man, where's the skull? It's in the pump. He's rummaging about. There's a... There's a... He's almost... Uh, he can almost find it. He's in, in a, an extremely awkward position. Because you put the skull in the pocket. The it? microphone cable is stressing, and the tension that was the of it cable. Okay, all right. might pull him back into okay. his seat. I can't believe Mammy do that. Put that skull on that VCR. Yes, that's how it's going. It's all catty cornered. Anyway, the black cat. All right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Scotland Yard detected an Amer- and, and an American photographer investigate a series of bizarre deaths in a small English town, which are connected to a local professor who happens to have psychic abilities. His psychic abilities include talking to dead spirits and getting them, getting those spirits to possess his black cat, um, to be his instrument of revenge against anyone that's wronged him okay. in the town. First thing. Go. Thank, thank you. I do appreciate you 
pulling the skull out sure. of this one. Sure. Anytime. If it's a horror movie, you need to Anytime do Anytime you ask me to do it, I may, okay. I may may not. Here, Here's the second thing. I have a black cat. No, you don't. Can I... Do you really? Can I transfer spirits to him? I mean... What can he do? Will he be okay. out in a meaner way? This is what happens. This he what already happens. claws the crap out of me, so... Yeah. <laughs> um... I just realized right now that you met your real black cat and not the one... For some reason, I thought you were going to tell me it's in your movie. No. No. <laughs> yeah, you have a black cat. His name is Ravi, and he's a, he's amazing. He's a sleek little sucker. Yeah. He's amazing. Yeah. Um, no, so what happens is... Yeah, Mark, it, he, he gets this cat... Every, this So... The whole movie is going through, and you think this cat is possessed, and it's like it like it causes silly accidents, like a car accident, or a guy to hit by a car, or two kids to to get uh, to die inside of a, a, a an airtight room, and it turns Ooh. out that this guy talks to dead spirits, and he's getting he has he goes to the he goes down the crypts, and he gets like recorders, tape recorders, and stuff, and he records his conversations with like the, the dead. gang. No, the no, <laughs> not the gang, not the gang from Meteor Man. Um. They're, they're like a crypt, like a mausoleum, oh, like oh. A, a death place. And, crypt, comma, tales from. Yeah, the. and and the girl, this photographer, this American photographer, she thinks that it's it's this dude. Like she's like, I know it's this dude. Her name is Jill. So we've got a lot of mystery going on here. Yeah, but basically it turns out that somebody's getting that the set cat. Up. Well, the cat. Yeah. So I'll tell you, the end of this movie is this guy, whose name is Miles. He ends up. She goes to his fa- his house and she's like, "I know you're gonna kill this and that." He knocks her out, puts her in a wall, and starts. He closes her into a wall. Like what does he, that mean? Like um, drywall, like putting her between the yes studs. Uh, in, in the cellar wall, so like, like cinder blocks and stuff or whatever. Yeah. And uh, the cat tries to save her and stuff, and like unbeknownst to him, the cat was in there with her and everything. And the, and when they capture him and they and they're looking for her and they can't find her, the cat's meowing from inside the wall and they find oh her and, she, and, they, and she's like half dead and stuff. And half, so the cat half, was so I prefer half alive. Chris. Half alive. Okay, sorry. Um, well, actually, I actually think half dead would be better than half alive. You're only right. you're only half dead. You're not if you're half alive. You're at least that's alive. Worse. At least you're partly alive. But that's the same if you're half dead. You're also partly alive. Yeah, but you can't. Be, you can't be. No, dead is just like done. Like done. No, that no, means if you're game dead, over. Like no the volume is de- off. There is no. Okay, so the you're volume is off. If you're half up, like the half volume, at so, least there's still volume. Yeah, you you're know saying what I mean? there's no half when it comes like, to dead. Full it's either life on or would off. be like cranking it all the way. Yeah, so half alive. Yeah. It no, is. because if you're alive, you're still alive, though. If you're dead, you're dead. You know what? This is the dumb... You know what? Both of them suck. Anyway, point is, you think it's the cat the whole time, but it's... The cat's a good cat because at half-life. one point... <laughs> sure. Call it half-life. At one point... Yeah, let's split the difference. The, um, uh, hold on. You get another pen? Nope. I don't have another pen for you. You're going to have to reach down. You're going to have to get those arms down there. The cat... You think it's a bad cat, but it turns out at one point the cat scratches Miles because it's like, no, I'm not doing it. Cat scratch. Cat scratch fever. So that's why I said scratch and I said dead. Dead, dead scratch. Dead scratch. Scratch okay. dead. All right. So, yeah. So, cat's a good cat, was being possessed. Be- possessed against its will. Right. As all cats. He was sending these ghosts. Cats, listen. Cats, can, we just, can we just go ahead yeah, and just on absolutely. the record? Absolutely. All cats are possessed. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And they don't do anyone else's bidding. No. Let's, so no. this movie is completely... Basically, when you, when you die, like, when you die, you're going to possess a cat. <laughs> yeah. And you're just going to be like, I'm not listening to anything anybody says. And you're going to and you're gonna be the biggest a-hole on the planet. Because all you're going to do is going to be like, you know what? What do you want to do, like, all the time? Like, when you have to get up for work, what do you want to do? Just go back to sleep. That's a... Cats sleep for, like, 20 hours a day. Yep. And that's why. It's like, I, I don't have anything to do. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. I'm, Oh, wait, no, I do have something to do. It's sleep. And I'm going to wake up just to eat yeah. and poop. Yeah. And scratch somebody. And, and I'm then gonna, I'm going to go back to sleep But I'm also going to be up when all the lights are off, and I'm going to run around and make a god-awful mess and god-awful noise. That's what ghoulies do. Oh, oh Ghoulies okay. are out when, can't the, wait when the lights go out. Yeah. They ride oh, the cats no, I'm around. I'm not talking about the ghoulies from the movie. I'm just no, talking I'm about just, ghoulies in general. I can't wait until we get them. And that's not the first time I've said that on this podcast. I can't wait till I get the, mo- the movie Ghoulies or Munchies. Or Critters. Munchies. N- Let me, okay, them. hold on. First critters, all, munchies, or ghoulies? Go. I'll give you mine. It's going, critters, no. then munchies, nope. then ghoulies. I'm going with munchies. Munchies. With, Dude, remember but, Dude? 
listening to the Grateful Dead. Yeah. And he got it. Yeah. Munchies was pretty good. Munchies was good. They killed my dude or whatever yeah. it was that she said. <laughs> <laughs> they killed my dude. <laughs> But I love the I just love the critters. Scott Grimes, I just love the gri- the critters, know. man. I, I don't know. Love them. Listen, listen. Shout out to Gremlins because without the Gremlins, there wouldn't be any. Oh yeah, there wouldn't be absolutely. Any of those movies. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I just realized my chair was way back. I was like, I was probably out of the video. Sorry, like... I'm just leaning. All right, so um, you know what? I could. Oh nope. Above the. Sufic- I got gotcha. you. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Okay. Cat. Cat time. Guess what? Dempsey thinks he got away with it. Guess who knows better? The cat. The cat. Well, how about the, the two cat. people possess cats? <gasps> they get ring. Joe Mantegna comes back and he says, "Listen, I got a couple kittens here for you." Because now. Wait, 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 wait! Before you get there, no. Before you get there, no. The cats visit him because they're now they're the possessed beings of the two, his wife and brother, and well, they no. go to Joe Mantegna. Joe Mantegna gets a job at Petco. Oh, right, yeah, but it's not fired. it's not really he Petco. It's like it's like it's like you know Pet Corner. Yeah, it's like pet yeah, yeah, yeah Pet Core, they call it. Pet they Core. Because they can't call it Petco legally. Yeah, no. So he this gets a job fit, there and he looks over really well inside that. He yeah. looks off into the into the corner of the store and he's like, Those cats. Those aren't our cats. So he finds out because he's there again. <laughs> he just goes He just goes cats. there. He goes there to get you know. <laughs> He goes there to get like a new leash and a muzzle for his. I thought he worked his, there for his basset hound. No, I thought he worked there. Well, no. First of all, this is this is a his ploy. basset hound's name is Leroy. He goes there and he's like, hmm, "Those cats are a little strange." And then he and, and something draws him I in. I sense something in those. I and he has like a dream and, he, and he's like, "Well, I'm unemployed now. I'm not a detective anymore. Therefore, I need to get a job. I'm going to go back to Pet Corps and get yeah. a job." He goes there. He gets a job, and he spends more and more time. Wait, with the we're cats saying and core or corp? Pet, pet core. With a P. Pet core. With a P. Core. You say core with a P. You don't say core. C-O-R. It stands for... But you could also say core with a P, too. If it said pet it's core... It's just pet core logo with an R at the end. They just put an R at the end. Okay. Yeah. That's it. I was just checking. Pet core. No, I'm not talking Go about like... On. So, here's what happens. He he takes a, he takes an interest in these cats. Yeah. And he's Does like, oh, he I'll feel take... like he knows them somehow? He kind of he starts putting two and two together. And they were gets, just and born. He gets five. They were just oh oh they're kidding. Let me ask you a question. <gasps> he brings them. In, How did oh, they get here? Oh my god! And then he gets yes. them. And he takes them and he brings them over to Dempsey. And he wait 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 wait. And he says I got a couple of kittens that need a home. Oh wait hold on a second. Friends. Hold on, can, can I can I stop? I'm you? sorry. Let me stop. I'm one sorry second. I doubted you. Wait, can he raise them a little bit? Like train them. This is it's what like I want. This montage. is what I want to happen. This is because you got to make a little sense with this, okay? I want this to happen. No, no. Although a training montage for cats would be it's hilarious gonna, because it wouldn't be. It wouldn't gonna be, be. It's gonna be lasers. It wouldn't be anything. Feathers. Yeah. Yeah. And they never and do a, anything yeah. that he wanted. He think if it it finishes and he's like, okay, go, and they just. And it's like you guys nothing. are somehow worse off than when yeah. we than when we started this thing. Um, no, what I'm saying is he keeps them for himself, but realizes that they're they're the reincarnated he's souls. A, One's just like in the corner, leg up, licking the butt. He's, I'm, <laughs> he's done. Like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I just I'm spent done. a two hour montage on you. <laughs> um, but no, but he realizes that that's who they are, and then he decides to take them over. No, I want there to be some some give it a meat, give it a little meat, a little give it a little. You know? Well, the, 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 yeah, they get in there. All right, whatever, they're in there. Right, so yeah, he got some so, kittens. I know you can't resist kittens. Yeah. But they need a home and you need a couple new friends. Yeah, considering you killed the other two. Yeah. Considering you killed so, your, your wife. So he goes in there you. and, and they, get their, they exact their revenge. Okay. They, oh, they torment them. <gasps> so the whole movie could be like that, uh, the Peter Weller movie um, of Unknown Origin where it, yeah. it terrorizes him, the whole thing. That sounds good. Yeah, Home That's Alone it. style. Home Alone. Alone style. They put paint cans. There's a tarantula on the on the cat's face. Yeah. He's like, wow. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's like, they they break like they knock down a um a lamp and there's glass and he's like he walks through barefoot and he steps on it and get oh, the yeah. change, you filthy animal. Get the cha- get on and your knees and tell me I love me. Let me tell you, cats walking on marbles. It's going to be this the breakout scene of the <laughs> movie. True. And no, there are no cat. You always see like these dogs that are in movies like starring. You know? Starring Re- 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 Remy as <laughs> yeah. as George. Yeah, they always the have this, yeah, they always have this goofy <laughs> and stuff. And it's always a girl playing a boy or vice versa. It's, yeah, yeah, always. But they never they're no cats. 
There's never been a cat where like, oh my gosh, that's a cat. No, well, yeah, well, there was the there was the the, the Kevin Spacey movie that just came out last year. No, there wasn't. Yeah, there Let's was a cat. Keep going. Yeah. yeah, keep going. There was There's uh, no, there are no cats cat and stars. Dogs. Is what I'm saying. Cats Blassie, and dogs. Cats and Air dogs. Bud, Beethoven. Nope. There was my talking cat. Turner and Hooch. Hooch. My, my talking cat. How many? Yeah. No. Come on. There was never like a, an that was officer with his dog or something like that, there or was, his cat. There's never an officer with his cat. Turner and cat. Like Turner and Sprinkles. Turner and Catnip. It's you know? the second yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, can't wait till we get Turner and Hooch. That's gonna be a good one. That'd be. Good. Did you drop your pen again? I dropped my pen, but I need to mark something down. I, I know you do. So, all right, great. I like that. I like it too. That's cool. The, the exact revenge. Okay, so this was called the Black Cat, and yours was called Above Suspicion. Yeah. Above suspicion. Suspicious mm. Cat. <laughs> no. Suspicious calico. Uh, calico. Curiosity killed the cat. Curiosity suspicion killed. Suspicion killed the cat. Curious suspicion killed the cat. No. Oh, because you realize they torture him until he confesses. That's the whole point of the movie. Yeah, that, that, yeah exactly. So and can Joe Mantegna be... just walks away just going, that's all I wanted. Vindicated! And then he goes back to work and they're like, you're fired. You haven't shown up for like three Yeah, months. you haven't showed up three <laughs> Oh my God. That and you, and you stole mid credit And scene. you stole two cats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, yeah. You didn't pay an adoption fee on those guys. Yeah. What about what are the cats' names? Uh I was gonna say Coleco. Oh. And Vision. <laughs> Coleco and Vision. Yeah. Like Coleco, like not like, like a, not a fancy way of saying like Calico. Yeah, because he is a Calico cat. He calls him Coleco because Coleco, he thought like because he's oh, like Coleco Vision. I get it. Yeah. Oh, you really? Yeah. Uh, Coleco and Vision. That's the name of the movie. Oh, really? You want to name it that movie? Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say. No, the cats are the stars you, of the show. You know how curi- no I was gonna say it. curiosity killed the cat, but I was, and then mm-hmm. I was I was gonna say the cat killed curiosity. As in, there's no more. There's no reason to be curious anymore because he confessed. <laughs> it's him. Yeah. No, you like Coleco. I mean, I mean, you could do something like above suspicion. Coleco and vision. Coleco, above Coleco and vision. Coleco and Vision. Coleco, but is it going to be Coleco plus Vision? Coleco and Vision. And ampersand. Yeah, yeah. Ampersand. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Good. All right, cool. I like it. I like that one. Yep. Time. Oh, oh, God, God. Time for tube squat. Break it, out the tube. I told you it's time for the tube. No, that's gross. All right, Kenny. What would you like to do? Would you like me to give you mine? I or would I'd you like, like to... or or option two? Would you like me to give you mine? Those are your options. Just give Make me give me something good. All right, Just tell me what you have. Trick or treat. Give me something good to eat. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let you read what I have. So don't let me read what you have. Sure. You tell me. Sure. Oh gosh, Superboy. Superboy. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Super excited for Superboy. Are you really? I got a lot to say, actually. I remember Superboy. I had a Superboy comic book. Like They used to sell like these well, packs of comics where you get like five comics or ten comics okay, and a yeah, thing. Yeah. And I got a Superboy one one time. And it was, the cover of it was a scene of him with like Lois Lane or who was the girl? Lana. Was it Lana? Lana Lane. Okay. Probably. She had like red hair, like really red. But that's a Superboy. And it was like, she was he was like holding her. And that was that was the only, that was my experience with Superboy. I remember that. I remember that cover, yeah. actually. Yep. Um, yeah, did you like Superboy? Uh, that was my only experience. But you're not a fan. You don't like Superman, though. Book. You don't like Superman. I don't have anything against Superman. I have a I have a thing against the portrayal currently of Superman. Okay, but no, no, no. I'm not talking about that. I want. I don't mind you, Superman because whenever I, I, well, I said, I think, I think Superman's ridiculous because he's got every power in the world. Right. I just think that you don't like that. You never. There liked was a that. there was a time where it was like, oh, there's this guy who can do everything, and then they other superheroes that. started they coming around that. where they all yeah. have one things, and I and I guess Marvel kind of spoiled it to kind of bring the superhero thing down to earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, DC did that too, though. DC, you know, DC started bringing their them down. their characters are very unrelatable. Aside from like Thor, because they're all in the gods. Marvel universe, because they're all gods. Exactly. That's the thing they're is, they're, they're gods, these, there's right. these people like, and even Bruce Wayne is like gods. a billionaire, and it's like, is it? I can't relate to him either. Yeah. But I can relate to Spider Man. Yeah. I can relate to the Thing, yeah. the Hulk. You know, well, all, all of that because there's a real people. Listen, do you want? You know, anyway. I got a lot to say about this. There's a lot of, yeah. Do you wanna, do you wanna, give me yours? Do I wanna what? Give me yours real quick. 
Ah. Oh. What is it? What is it? What is it? I can't. I I I've so, I, I have flashes of of so many shows in my head. Let me see it. I can't. Henry Watermont. Oh my God! Yeah, that was the, that's Punky Brewster. Yep. Oh my God. I got Punky Brewster. You got you have one of my favorite kids Dude, shows, this, man. Listen, with, with every batch of shows that we get, there's always one that I'm like super excited for, and this is the one. I this love... is this is the batch. What time was Punky or Brewster on? This is the on, one man. out of the batch. Wasn't it on late? I feel like it, it, was, it was on, on... late. Like nine or like nine thirty. I don't think it was on that late. Because I remember being like, "Oh, you have to go to bed," and I'm like, and I and I and I try and stay up to watch it. Yeah. Remember the episode? It was like a multi-part where they got stuck in the cave. There was there were a lot of that stuff, man. And I'm like, I just wanted to stay up and watch this. Yeah, it was such I a loved, good show. I loved that show. Interesting thing God. about the show is that they moved it to Sunday night, so it aired after like Sunday night football. But football always goes that's, over. But that's what I'm saying. That was it and was so stuff, late because it would it would go on later. But they actually recorded six episodes for 15, 15 minutes episodes just in case football ever went over. That it would never be like we now join the program already in process oh, progress yeah, because okay. it would upset kids. Yeah. That they'd want to see the whole episodes. They actually had episodes ready, so if football went over, that oh they'd have God, the episodes ready to join it well, and say, "Hey, here's a 15 minute episode," right, which well, is kind of cool. That is pretty cool that they that they did that. But let me get let's do Superboy before we get into that. Yeah. Let's stick stick with our yep. our thing. Okay, so here's the thing with Superboy. It was obviously before he was full Superman. He did wear the suit. He was in college. Okay. It was after high school. Lana Lang was in it. The this ran for four seasons. The first season, Superboy was played by John Hayes Newton. Oh, really? They had somebody else. And then season two to the four was Gerard Christopher. So here's wow, what happened. They couldn't even. Here's what happened. Well, it was like Coy and Vance. They didn't even. They didn't even bother to rename. Like, like that's that's basically taking Bo and Luke Duke and saying, "Here's Coy and Vance. Let's call them Bo and Luke." Right. 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 Okay. It wasn't like... Well, like, no, it's it not because it's the same... It wasn't Superboy's brother Clyde or anything like that. No, no, no. They just they just recast them. Um, so th- that was for season two through four. They also recast Lex Luthor in season two also. They did That's a lot so of recasting in season now, two. Now, did they change channels when they did this? No, 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 no. They did move where they shot the show. Here's a couple things about season oh, one. Oh, is that what I got was? a lot of... Look, I, got, I have a lot of, like, details about the show. Do you want to hear, like, like tidbits about the show? Bring it. Yeah. Pro- production, or do you want to hear about the show? This is, it's kind of mixed. Okay, let me just go. So season one, they had 13 episodes. The first 13 episodes were done real cheap because they didn't know if they were getting an, they didn't know if they were getting picked up for another 13. So they kind of did them on the cheap side. Um, by the way, these are, uh, you know what? I should have looked up the, produ- the, the producers of Superman one, two, th- and three. It was from the super producers of the first three Superman movies plus the Supergirl movie from '84. All right, they. They produced this TV show, initially, anyway. So, are you, are you, what are you doing? You're reading? What are you doing? I'm listening to you. Okay. So, season, season one. Superboy, Kryptonite, Lex Luthor. Yeah, but, but it's, it's not exactly. Metropolis, so Daily, season two, Daily Planet. In season one. Got it. Moving on. No, hold on. Season one, they got picked up to do another 13, and then they started throwing some money. They, so the did they season, call it season two? No, it was season one. This is still season oh. one. So the first 13 episodes gotcha. were crap, and the second ones had a better production value. Season wow. two comes around. In between seasons, John Hayes Newton, who played the, in the first season, he wanted, a, he wanted a 20% raise, but they didn't like, they weren't really like happy with his portrayal of Clark Kent and Superboy. And also, he got a DUI, like, and it became public. And so they just, they just axed him, and they got, they got this guy, Gerard, to be Superman, wow. Superboy. Um, Season two, they, it was more of a almost, almost like a film noir, like it was a little more like gritty or whatever. It got a little darker. Seasons three and four got even more darker. Um, they brought in more comic book characters like Mixelplik and and Metallo and Bizarro and like all these other ones. Uh, so the last couple of seasons were a lot darker. They think critics were saying they they probably did that because of 1989 Batman, Tim Burton's Batman, right. That was kind of a dark portrayal. So they... Oh, I tried. Tried. So they, they think that's why they did that. Um, and then, like, the last season, they moved to, like, Capital City, and they worked for... Or the third season, really. And they moved to uh, Capital City, and they and him and Lana Lang, who was just, like, on again, off again, girlfriend, I guess, in this or whatever, they worked for the, the Bureau for Extra Normal 
matters. It makes, it makes you wonder how they stray so far from the source material. Well, I'm going to give you... Wait, I'm almost done. Okay, no, I'll, I'll give you characters. No, I'm, no, no, no. I'm going to give you a little tidbit. The, yeah. the actress who played Lana Lang was Stacey Hyduck. Yep. Right? She was on Sequest DSV. Yeah. Along with... Uh, Edward Kerr, okay, Nick from, from yeah, Above Suspicion. Above Suspicion, yeah. And she met her husband while working on that show. Oh, just, really? Just to let you know. Oh, that's pretty cool. Just to let you know. Yeah, Sequest yeah. Sequest DSV. She, yeah, that's a, that's a link. So there's a link. So is that an achievement? Sequest. We have an achievement for that on no, this? No. no okay. There's a link between Sequest DSV in, t- in, in our movie and TV show. Yeah. Just letting you know that there's an interesting little That's good. I like that. Um, here's another cool little thing. In the first season, he had a, I'm just, a roommate. I'm just letting you know, you're just really killing my me- Like, I got a, like, nah, like a Punky Brewster buzz going on right now. Like, oh, my God, I I'm, forgot I'm about done. Punky I Brewster. Know. Come on. I don't care. You're, you're giving me all this stuff about Superboy, go. and I got Punky Brewster. Go. Just go. I don't care about Superboy anymore. Go. Sorry, man. Go. Wow. <laughs> like, Soleil Moonfry. I'm, I'm, go. Here. I'm like dying to talk about Soleil this. Soleil Moonfry, one of the weirdest names ever. Great. Yep. Anyway. Give it to me. Uh, Com- Commandant Lassard was her stepdad. Yeah, that or, wasn't or his foster. name. It wasn't foster his parent. Name. Yeah, it wasn't his name right? in that, though. What are you talking about? That wasn't his name. Oh, gosh. <laughs> anyway, she, her her father left when she was Henry. little. Henry. Yeah. Yes. Warnemont. He was yeah. a photographer. Yeah. He liked, yeah. He had a little studio and all that. God, he was old. He had a studio. So, wait. she He fostered her, right? Yeah, because her father walked out on her and her mother left her and Brandon. Who's Brandon. The dog. Yep. Yeah. At the uh, at at like just a strip mall, just wow. like left her there. What a jerk. Yeah. Stupid. Remember he had like the bandana around him. Yeah. Brandon. Yeah. He's yeah. a he's a, a retriever. So um, Brandon is named after the creator of the show. No. Okay. That was his name, Brandon. Yeah. And uh, Punky Brewster, I'm going to tell you a little bit about. There was a real Punky Brewster in life. Oh. Um, the same producer. Had there was a girl that he grew up with named Peyton Brewster. Hmm. Nicknamed Punky, and he tracked her down before the show to to find out if it was okay for her to use that to, name for yeah. them to use the name on it. And she said, "Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah, you know, go for it." She was actually um, a teacher, one of Punky's teachers in the show. Oh, and she came on. To... She was on the show. Was she an actress? No, she just played that one one role, and she was on there, and she was like, "Oh, Punky, what a weird name." Yeah, you know, like like that was that was what happened. So they actually yeah, had her on. That's there. cool. That's yeah, cool. Which is interesting. Which yeah, kind of, kind of neat, right? So anyway, uh, Punky's real name is not Punky. Right. On the show. It's Penelope. What's, what is it? Yeah. Man, you're good. Mm-hmm. See? Dropping knowledge on each other's things. Yeah. I liked it, man. That's it. So, uh, yeah, let's see here. The third season. How many seasons were there? There were four seasons in the okay, show. Okay, okay. Interestingly enough, there were only two seasons uh, network television. Mm-hmm. It moved to syndication. For the third season and the fourth season, but now doesn't that mean? But what is but, syndication means? Like channel, like like those local channels where they kind of bro, they kind of but, farm it out, right? But I thought it was for reruns, though. A lot of the times it was made for like reruns. when you go into syndication, it's after your run has ended and now you're syndicating, meaning yeah. now other channels have the ability to, yeah, to there, buy there the a, rights. There was a to show to recently show that it. I told you was one of the first shows that was put out there for syndication or. Um, a cartoon. I think it was. It might have been. It might have been Masters of the Universe, if I'm not mistaken. I don't recall. I don't think it was Masters of the I don't Universe. Recall, but um, there was a cartoon that they Damn came it. out there and they said this is, this is going to change things because now we're going to push this cartoon out as syndication and it would show up like every day. The thing was, Punky Brewster ran five days a week then for season three and four. Oh my God! It ran every day. Oh, they came out with a new episode. Oh, okay, yeah. So they had the old episodes that they repeated and stuff, and then they had thir- the, you know the third third season and yeah, come out so every they made, single day. There was a new so episode. So they made wow, yeah, okay. And that's how it worked for those for those seasons. The last season was only about. And that way, that's syndication, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, because yeah. It's, yeah, that means it's like sixty five episodes a year. Gosh, yeah, something something crazy like that. But um, there were there Wrong weren't that cartoons many. Cartoons anyway. Yeah, there weren't that many. There were eighty eight episodes in the four seasons together you know all four seasons that it had yeah okay so but um crazy uh there was a cartoon yeah you know oh yeah remember it's punky brewster imagine imagine you got that one or i got yeah yeah, that'd be awesome all of the original cast provided voices yeah cartoon which is really cool cool. and at the end of the first season the last episode was a it was a one-hour episode that they split Mm -hmm. into two because it was also cave episode was that that no 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 it was um (laughs) it was a fenster hall potential fenster hall spinoff that was the, the the foster home that you not the oh, foster oh. home but that was like the 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 home okay you know for the abandoned home. kids yeah, and okay, all that yeah. stuff. 
that they had there. I think it was boys also because there was okay. a boy who was like the leader of like the boys, like the community group or something. Yeah, okay. That, that yeah. it was going to center on him. And he was, it was going to be him, like, interacting with all the, the kids that were living there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were going to have it be a spinoff called Fenster Hall, but it, it didn't pan out. And they they ditched the idea, but he did show up as the teacher. Or 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 he, he did show up in the next the next season. Seasons, yeah. yeah. So that's that. That's all I have to say about that. Oh, my God. That's crazy, man. So a little interesting thing. This, um, I, I know we got to combine these things, but I got a couple more things. They, Superboy had two roommates the first roommate was tj white who was perry white's son perry white is the editor chief editor editor in chief. his name was tj tj white um they replaced him in the second season with a man with a kid named andy McAllister, played by ian mitchell smith you know who that is no ian mitchell smith wyatt from weird science okay remember weird science right yeah uh there was a kid named, or the teacher, not the t- I keep saying oh, like great. teacher. It's the Home Alone Furnace. T.K. Carter was this dude's name. Oh, okay. From the spinoff that was potential spinoff. Oh, T.K. Carter. That sounds, do you have a picture of him? That sounds... He was a, yeah, he's a, um, like a comedian actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was another stuff. I picture at the ready, so. Okay, yeah, but I remember he was in other stuff. All right. Yeah, you want to know what he was in? Sinbad Show. Yeah, okay. He was on that. Okay. I used to watch Sinbad Show. All right. Kenneth, so uh, Superboy and Punky Brewster. I just realized we have to combine these things. Wow. Um, Brandon wore a bandana. Can we make Brandon like? Because uh, I'm thinking of crypto. You know what crypto is? Crypto. Superman. Superman's dog. Yeah, Superman's super dog. Um. Can we do anything with that? What are you thinking? Come the on, dog. Get, I'm not doing yeah. the dog. No, you're typing stuff. Stop the the, 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 the last episode of Punky again. Brewster. Yeah. The season four, the last last one, Brandon got married to a, another golden retriever named Brenda. Oh wow, good for him. That's it. Good for him. Just had to tell you that. What years did that run? Uh Punky Brewster, ninety-four to ninety-eight. Wait, what? Not true. Not true at all. Say, that's not true at all. <laughs> 84, 84 to 88? I was going to say, that can't be true at all. This actually ran... Oh, this is interesting, because then this ran 82 to 92. 88 to 92. Oh, really? God. So Punky Brewster ended in Superboy. Started. started. Hey, okay, so why don't we do this? Since we got to combine these things, why doesn't he meet Punky Brewster? Superboy? Superboy meets Punky Brewster, and she helps him on adventures she meets clark kent as a young clark kent he's in he's doing his internship maybe maybe punky works for the bureau uh what, the, what was it called again the bureau for extra normal matters you think she'd work what? there what you think she'd work there yeah because she was into all that stuff she was in the freaky deaky stuff so she's like i'm gonna go work there what if she was like a consultant or something well, no she got an internship there also I don't know. All right, what are you thinking then? I mean, come on, that's what I got. I need something from you. Come on. Oh, that's doubly nice. Let's just you get a fire horn. Maybe the fire horn wants to come on too. What was hanging with Mr. Cooper's profession? He was a teacher. Was he? I think so. Oh, I guess because they hung with him and he was a Mr. Cooper. Yeah. We were hanging with him. They were. Just, we were. This, I'm just sorry. I'm sorry. You know, you, 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 I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm back. I'm, I'm back in the day, man. Yeah, you know? you're just all over the place. Like I just can't, I can't concentrate. I'm just so. Yeah. I just don't know. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I'm, I'm listen. I'm, I'm kind of waning here, so I need you to, I need your help here. I gave you, I gave you what mine was. That was my idea. You don't like it. Where do we go from there? I, I'm. I would like. Can we make her a superhero? Like, what do you want to do? Punky could be like his lowest lane. Superboy's lowest lane. So Lana's out. Yeah, Lana's, yeah, because Super, okay, Superman had who? Lois Lane. All right, who did he have before her? Lana. The same Lana? <laughs> yes. What? Yes. When did Superboy become Superman? What? Like, did they, were they ever going to explain that? It's only like 45, like, what if this show ran for like 12, like 12 seasons? He's going to be like 35 years old and he's like, that Superboy okay, up well, there I'll tell flying you, around I'll, the metropolis. I'll, if you want to know, basically Smallville was Superboy, right? 
and he became Superman after he became an adult. He was working at the Daily Planet, and then he came out as Superman. So the, the, the problem is, though, Superboy, he's, he's basically Superman younger. That's, it's like... Was he ever super toddler? Well, yeah. Remember when he lifted up the car? You're, not, you're talking about all different kinds of continuities. No, that was in the show, too. No, that was just his show, They too. did that in the show. They did that in the show, gotcha. There's a shot of him lifting up, like, a towel around his neck, and he's lifting up the car because it, it fell on, Graham, you know, dead is Jonathan Kent. Um, but my point is, is in reality, what they just took Superboy, and they made all these adventures of him before, but that's why, like, like I said, Smallville, and then they redid he didn't it wear the suit. Yeah, but he didn't wear the suit. Superboy, he wore a suit. He wore a Superman suit. So... Okay, Hunky. He he goes. This is going to be an alternate reality, and he and he moves Punky to into the apartment building, Clark like the Kent abandoned does. apartment. Clark that, Kent that Punky Brewster. Remember, she was like living in like an abandoned apartment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where he's going to move into, and she's going to be like, "Oh my gosh, somebody moved into that apartment. I need to befriend them." Come on, Brandon. Let's go. Let's go say hi. Because that was Come on, her. Brandon Five. Because it's going to be like years later, and it's not going to be the same Brandon. Oh yeah, true. You know what I mean? So is this Clark? Is this Superboy still, or is this like now he's? An this adult is gonna now? be. This is gonna be like when they're adults. So we're gonna make this show now. So he's Superman. They're forty he's years Superman. old. Superman. Okay. You know, this is gonna be now. Okay, he's Superman. Yeah, it's gonna be like, dude, like I'm too old for this. Yeah. You know. Like, okay. You go ahead and have fun. Yeah. And she's just like, I just want to eat. She's like, like come a, on, Brandon Seven. I just want to get a carton of ice cream, put what? on some sweatpants, and just sit on the couch. Wait, you're talking about her or him? Yeah, and 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 that's yeah, that's what she wants to do. Is she a, ma- is she's like, a manager at a retail? Su- shop? Superman's just like, I just want to take a nap. Yeah, I'm so tired from saving. I'm so tired. I'm just done. I'm so tired. I'm done. I reti- yeah, so I'm are done, we in Metropolis done. still, or are we in Chicago? This was that was Chicago, wasn't it? I just assumed that was Chicago. I don't know why. Where is it? Where did Punky Brewster? Brewster take place? Philadelphia, Chicago. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, all right. Look, we're running. We're, this is this is running. No, this is Punky Brewster. We had Chris. we had a lot of fun talking about it, but you know you know we always do this, right? We we'll always we have sometimes we have so much fun reminiscing about these things, and then to combine them, we're like ah uh, yeah uh, blue purple yellow yellow one through nine, and then that give it a title and we're done. Remember they had an episode about like one of the kids were they were like playing around at hide and seek and one of the kids got locked in a refrigerator yep yep i was so dude i was so scared i was like <laughs> <laughs> after that what do you mean you can't open the door from the inside it didn't matter there were shelves milk oh eggs really in my refrigerator you know growing up because that's what everybody oh, has yeah i thought you meant in that show. but i'm still afraid like if i'm looking in the refrigerator what if the door shuts there's no room for me to get in there <laughs> and no. unless i crawl up in the fetal position on a like yeah. shelf on the, on top of above the, the vegetables yeah yeah <laughs> underneath like the lunch yeah. meat drawer right you know and, like jammed up on the side like there's no way for me to get in there but it's still and have the door shut to this day you're saying yeah you look and the there. refrigerator, like you'd open the door, and it's always on like an angle of the floor, so the door would just. Oh, would yeah. just, like, oh mine does. Mine. Oh, mine does it. Right? So they don't annoying. shut automatically; they open automatically. Yeah. And you're kind of like, I shut the door on it, and she's like, don't, "Nope, you didn't. You didn't. You didn't. Yeah, 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 yeah." Comes back, and you're like, "Mine swings out though, because the, the way my floor is, and yeah. I've, I've turned the thing on the bottom, and and, I, and then you shift the it, it and forget yeah. it, and then once you shift it, it's not yep. anyway." So Punky Brewster meets Afraid Clark Kent. Afraid of being trapped in the refrigerator. Like, so. scarred me for life. That was like a horror movie. Like, yeah. I need the skull for this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I told you, I always just remember that dang cave episode where they were out, and I just remember it because it was a part two, and I'm like, I'm not going to be able to see this tomorrow night. Mom's not going to let me watch this tomorrow night. And I have. I remember I got up and I had to look, try to put it on. I don't remember the outcome. Like, no, you watched Punky last night. Yeah, like, I don't remember. I just remember being like, I'm not going to be able to see part two. Did they ever make it out? I don't remember. Well, they must have. I, can I, can I watch married. this somewhere in your research? Can I get it on like YouTube or something? All the episodes are on there. You have to buy the seasons and stuff. It's like two ninety. But yeah, they, they showed up on YouTube when I typed it in. How come this is not on Netflix? This is ridiculous. Netflix, what are you doing? Get on it. <laughs> what are you, what what are you, are you doing, <laughs> Netflix? What are you doing? <laughs> Come on, answer. All right, so Punky Brewster gets trapped. Does she have kids? Does she have? No, she doesn't have kids. So no, they're not really spinster. forty. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're backing it up. Twenties, twenty-five. Out of college. They're both twenty-five. They're out of college. He's not. Yes. So is he Superman? 
She is an interior decorator. Is she in between? Is he in between Super Bowl? Except and she she decorates everybody's apartment except for hers. So people come over and they're like, <sighs> "What do you?" She's mean? like, did "You just move in?" She's like, "I want to show you the swatches and the samples." And they're kind of like looking around they're like, like "Did you I just want to move hire? in?" And she's like, "No, I've been here five years." Yeah, and they're like, "We're gonna hire you? <laughs> like your place looks like junk." It's a, she was and she's gonna be listen. I, all my effort goes out I there. I do, not yeah, I do. It's how I am with the mail. I get home and I'm like, I don't want to open my mailbox. I don't want to look at any mail. I've delivered mail all. I've, I've delivered. Idiot's mail all day. I just want to go into my house and not look at paper. That's it. I don't want to open. I don't want to tear things open. I don't want to say anything with my name in it or anyone else's name on it. I just want to leave it in the mailbox until I got to get my game informer. And then I go in and get it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I leave everything else in there. So, okay, great. We've established her. He moves into this place. It's his first place. He's not with Lana. It's before Lois. So she was the, she was the middle. She was the interim woman. Punky. Well, he hires he has to yeah. hire an interior decorator. Yeah, and he's like, well, she moves. She, he moves into the apartment. He building. just started. Listen, she he, has Henry's old apartment. Okay, she just started. He just started at the Daily Planet. This is Metropolis. Sorry, sorry, Punky, you live in Metropolis now. And he, well, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to tell you. Was it Omaha? He moved to Omaha first before going to Metropolis. You're not letting us move forward, man. We just have to. I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering if this is. I'm just wondering if we're gonna end up calling this Punky Boy. <laughs> no, man. Nah, I don't. Super Brewster. Su- That's what I wanted to call it. I wanted <laughs> no, to call it Super don't. Brewster. No, yeah, I like Super Brewster. No, we're gonna call it Punky, Punky and Brewster. Clark. Punky. Oh, I like Punky and Clark. The New Adventures of Punky Brewster. <laughs> Punky and Clark. The new Vince is Punky Brewster? And Crypto and Brandon. No. No? No. Punky and Clark. Punky and Clark. The new adventures of Punky Brewster. Because no, remember, remember Lois and Clark, the new adventures of Superman with Dean Kane and Terry Hatcher. This is Punky, Punky and Clark, the new adventures of Punky Brewster. I went to a salt museum one time. Why would you ever go and to a salt museum? They had Dean Kane Superman suit downstairs. What? Why? They had it there because it preserves it. They had a lot of film oh, canisters. Yeah, okay, that makes and sense. They yeah. had the noisy cricket from, I say from Men in Black. Yeah. Oh, did they have the little noisy, the tiny little thing? The noisy cricket. Why have? Was, isn't it just like plastic? They had to preserve it. They had it down there, just props. They had like little things set up for like movies, and they yeah. had like you know the cans, the film cans. Yeah. Like Friends, I think was there. What do we want? A TV only? And they I saved know. all that stuff. And uh, it was it was interesting. It was a rock salt factory, okay. kind of where they dug out rock salt. Let me ask you this, Kenny. And I went there, Kenny, and they had the noisy cricket. Why? Why did you go to a rock salt factory? Because, because I was in Kansas, and you had nothing else to do. You're like, what are we doing tonight? We're gonna go to rock salt factory, and then we're gonna go out drinking, and we're gonna go back, and we're gonna lay and go to sleep. I got you. It was Kansas, man. It was Kansas. But what else are you gonna do in Kansas? Uh, shout out to Kansas. Hey, Kansas, what's up? So, all right, punky. Punky they call and it Clark. the bread box of the United States. Do they? The bread basket. Is it the, the bread basket? <laughs> Probably the right? bread basket. But there is a, it's also a bread box, too, though. Oh, the bread box they call the fridge, don't they? Ice box. They call ice that the box. ice box. The glove compartment. Oh, my God. I hate this. Can we just please? I'm writing it down. All right. That's it. Punky, Punky and Clark, the new adventures of Punky Brewster. No, I don't like Fine. the new adventures of Punky, Punky Brewster. We don't need Clark. that one. Punky and Clark. Right, that great. says enough, man. It does. All right. All right good. Good. We're done. Tube Squad out is over. And we're a go for Tune Squad, buddy. And we're a go. Oh, I'm <laughs> counting that one, by the way. Uh-huh. I don't care. You mess around, you joke around, that's what you get. No, you don't count that. All right. Tune so in for right. this one. Tune in. Oh, tune in. All yeah. right. Tune Squad. Ask me one word to describe this. Purple. Oh, you, um, oh what? One, mine. What? Oh, what? Mine. Give me one word to describe it. Nanny. <gasps> I know what it is. It's Muppet Babies. <laughs> Muppet Babies. Kenny got Muppet Babies. <laughs> I'm not going to show you the screen until until after all of this. But you got Muppet Babies, right? Because I, I wrote the time code. Keep going. G- give me... What do you have? Oh, you want to just... You, oh, no, you have to go first. One word for mine? Yeah. Earth. <laughs> Earth? Figure that one out! Mask? Oh, I better read Mask. That's took place on Earth. Can we have a mask? A mobile armored strike command? No. Stupid Muppet Babies, man. Uh, Each episode had a musical number 
Ran from 84 to 92. 107 episodes of this stupid show. Wow. I used to watch it. It wasn't stupid. I it loved wasn't it. Bad. I loved it. They, li- they had a lot of fantasies, a lot of real oh, world we had things. Sectors. Remember? Was last, last couple episodes ago, we had, or last episode, uh, a couple episodes ago, was uh, Sectors. And the Muck Babies were, they, we can... In the original, one yeah. of the one of the single digit episodes. Our second mistaken. episode, I think was it was. Was it the second episode? Yeah, I think it was. So we had, um, yeah, they... Like they they'd be in like live action Star Wars, Ghostbusters. Oh yeah, those had those live action shots. Yeah, yeah. And then they like could snap out of it when Nanny would come in and be like, "Yeah, what's going on, kids?" Power of imagination. That's that's all the. I always liked Nanny. Imagination. Yeah. Oh, you wrote it down. It um Nanny. I always liked Nanny. I didn't see it. I always liked Nanny. She always like. I was like, oh, I like Nanny. Cool socks. Nanny's nice. She had cool socks, and she was always like, "All right, guys, come on, time. You guys want a snack?" And they're like, "Yeah, snack time." I think her socks were. I want to see what Nanny's socks look like. Green and white striped. She had the same socks as Strawberry Shortcake. Did Green she Green and white stripe. Was Nanny Strawberry Shortcake? <gasps> oh. Well, re- listen. I'm going to do some research while you tell me about what you have there. Okay. About Earth. Well, that's the last word in it. Say it. Defenders of the Earth. Yeah. Defenders uh, of the like Earth. Oh, looks like another Defenders failed... Defenders of the Earth! Defenders! Looks like another failed action figure line. Tell me more about it. No, actually it wasn't. Defenders of the Earth! Uh, what do you want to know, man? Uh, it was Flash Gordon, the Phantom, Mandrake, the Magician, and his uh, assistant, uh, Lothar. Uh, they fought uh, Ming the Merciless. L- Lothar? King Lothar? Voltron? Yeah. You, I mean, you, want me to, you want a premise? I'll give you a premise while you're looking up something, okay? Here's the stupid premise for this show. The plot begins with Flash Gordon and his son Rick escaping from Ming the Merciless, who has exhausted the natural resources of his home planet Mongo, and desires to exploit Earth. Ming tries to brainwash Flash's wife, Dale Arden, but she resists until she dies, whereafter her psyche is later included in the Defender's supercomputer. When you're not specific enough. When you're not specific enough, you get strawberry shortcake. It looks Uh, delicious. I love strawberry shortcake, man. I haven't had dessert yet. Oh, uh, I had a cookie. Unfortunately, there's no strawberry shortcake like Depot where you can just go and just be like, no, there grab isn't. some. There really isn't. Uh, late, so, so Flash and Mandrake organize the Defenders against Ming. The Defenders, like I said, you want me to go through the list? Fine. Flash no. Gordon, the Phantom, Mandrake. Uh, you also have Rick Gordon, his son, LJ, uh, which is Lothar Jr. You had Jetta Walker, uh, the daughter of the Phantom. You had Kashin, who is Orphan Boy, uh, Dynak X. And you have the antagonist. You have Ming the Mer... All right. I mean, how far? Strawberry Shortcake socks. Yeah. Find uh, nannies. They were green and white, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. So, they fought against Ming the Merciless. Okay? Nanny socks. Green and... Green and... Light green? Green green and and white, man. That's a bad shot of white. They were like teal. Show me another shot. They're not (laughs) quite... Why are they just so no head? (laughs) She did. She didn't she have had a some head. beefy calves too. She must have been a runner. I think she ran from the purple pie man. Oh my god, yeah. All right. You heard it here first. You heard it here we've, first. We've... Muppet Babies and the Defenders. Oh Muppet Babies and the Defenders. Defenders of the universe. I mean defenders of of the earth. Um Okay, so you 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 mentioned that they went into this live action. What if they just what if got it, stuck there? They got they got stuck. Okay. Each one of them became one of them. Well, that's what I was gonna say. They could they I could they, they they could pretend to be the defenders of the earth, and each one of them gets to be one of them. So that's like it. Kermit is Flash. Um, can we make Miss Piggy the Phantom? I don't care. Put, put her doing. in a big purple suit. Uh, Mandrake, you can make uh, who, um, Rolf. the magician Rolf. Or Fozzie. Fozzie, Fozzie was like. How I about mean, I don't want to say Rolf, magicians and comedians. You could are the say same you could say but... Rolf, and then Fozzie could be Lothar, who was the Mandrake's assistant. Okay. That sounds good. What are we calling this thing? Um, Muppet Defenders of the Babies of the Earth, but Defenders Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Just gave I will, up. Uh, he gave a mint sentence. <laughs> he was just done. I will tell you this: Lou Richards uh, plays is a voice in here, and he played the voice of uh, Flash Gordon in this, and he also played the voice of oh. Leader One in GoBots. Interesting. Howie Mandel played the voice of Skeeter yes, for did. the first two seasons, which was ta- then taken over by Frank Welker. Oh, dang! Bling 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 bling. <laughs> 
And uh, Dave Coulier also provided voices from seasons three to eight. Oh, wow. Dave Coulier, you, yeah. you SOB. What about... <laughs> cut it, cut out. it <laughs> out, man. Cut it out. What about... Uh, yeah, how man and then he went on to do uh, Bobby's World with the same voice I think from Skeeter. Like it was a very similar he voice. Have. He also did the voice for um, Groot. <sighs> the voice of Groot. Gizmo. Yeah, he did voice of Gizmo. Yeah, that's true. I'm sitting here, I'm like, I have Gizmo on my brain, and all of a sudden, I just it, lo- it, it so, fell out. <laughs> okay. Stripe. Stripe. Come that's on. Stripe. Okay. <laughs> Second one with the whistling. He's like whistling in the file cabinet. Yeah. All right. Let's just let's just end this one. Defenders of the Earth. Defenders. Ba- ma- babies of the Earth. That's what I said. Babies of the Earth. Defend the baby defenders. Baby defenders of the Earth. No, it's babies of Muppet. the Earth. No, I don't want to use the word Muppet in this. Why not? Because it's just. What do we call the other one? Like Muppet How Riders. About defenders of the Muppets. Defenders of the Muppets. No, defenders of the babies. Oh, this thing's so gross in my eye, dude. Defenders of the babies. Can we an eye patch? Do you have an eye patch down here? Would would you? It just fits over your shoulders. It's just yeah. Would you if I would you be able to like I wouldn't seriously be able to walk, look at me if I was like no. across from you We'd wearing an done. eye patch? We'd be done. Defenders of the babies, or I, I babies, of the, earth. <laughs> babies of the earth. Babies Sounds of good. the earth. Babies of the earth. All right, all right, we did it. That's good. All right, all right, stop tune, it. Tune, yeah. Kenny, we're going to the game squat. It's time to squat on games. Gross. You ready for mine? Get that yawn out of your face. Say it, say, the, say the whole thing. Buster Bust Loose, Tiny Toon Adventures. Now say it the right way. Tiny Toon Adventures, Buster Busts Loose. There you go. All right, man. What do you, oh, God. What do, what do you think about that? You know anything about it? No? I'm going to tell you about it. SNES, 1993. Here comes my paper. Uh, side scrolling. It had three three difficulty levels. It had six levels. Uh, the objectives varied from level to level. Um, to get the full ending, you had to beat it on hard. Am and, I allowed to tell you anything about mine? And after each level, there was a mini game where you spun a wheel to get extra lives. And I have one more piece of information which I will give to you after you tell me. Oh, yours. I'm so intrigued. Yes, you should be. I, I can't wait. The suspense is killing me. You should be. I better get through this one quickly. Yeah, we're talking about this exciting uh, thing. Is yeah. this the best screenshot you've ever seen of a video <laughs> game? Is that what about dungeon? this one? Um, what was that called? What about this one? Oh, it's amazing. What about this one? Oh no, that now that looks very good. This looks really good. That looks really good. It is yeah. called Dungeon Master Two. Dungeon Master Two Skull Keep. Yes. D- okay, we had the, Dungeon the Master before. Sega CD also on many other platforms, including PC, which is going to be a problem once I start describing this to you. But hold on, we had Dungeon Master, didn't we? Like Dungeon Master Four, and we combined it with Jedi Jedi lightsaber battle, Jedi something from from Atari. Oh, we might have. I don't know. We might I have. think we had dungeon. Yeah, I think we might have. Uh, we had a dungeon one. It was dumb. All right, tell me about it. Tell what do me, you want to know about? Tell it? me all your problems. Tell me all the problems you had with it. It's a sequel to Dungeon Master. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> um, on the PC and whatnot, it was called uh, the Legend of Skull Keep, Dungeon Master Two: The Legend of Skull Keep. This particular version came out in 1994 on the Sega CD. You might have owned this. I'm not sure. Do you know a Sega CD? You didn't have a Sega CD? No. I wasn't a Sega household. I think you're the only one. I wasn't a Sega household. Because I know household. you love Sega. And I know no, you love I the don't Genesis. love Sega. And I don't love... And you Gen- love the style of games heck that they have. no. Heck no. I hate all of that. Get out of here. Anyway, take it was a point and click game. Take it back. It was a take point and click game. On a controller. On a oh. controller, and they said it was really bad because you could like, like Maniac move Mansion around with the, the arrow, or you can you can map it to the controller, like and the move, D-pad. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that would but be good. But you'd move it, and you'd have to hit up. Like if you hit up four times, you would move like, rup, 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 and it would still like act like it did the clicks. Oh, like yeah. it wasn't just smooth or anything like that. You played it. You had Sega CD. I had Sega CD. You suck. I had it when I, you know, after it was done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I did it, go yeah. out there and buy Sega CD games new. One of them was Snatcher, which was a very good game. That sounds gross. All right, go ahead. Keep going. 
and now it's worth a lot of money. Look up how much Snatcher is worth. Well, you don't have and it And I anymore. used to own it, and I somebody got that from me on eBay for a steal, man. Steal. Because back before, these were classics. Well, that's your own fault. Same with Final Fight Guy. Oh, no. And Dracula X. <laughs> All these games that we got, too. I know. Isn't that nuts? We didn't yeah. get Snatcher. All those games, we get Snatcher. We didn't get Snatcher. So, anyway, uh, Dragoth has minions who are attempting to assemble the Zolink. It permits travel to other dimensions, and they want to return does. him to Earth. However, you and your three party mates, party mates need to assemble it before the bad guys do. You need to get the Skull Keep and defeat the dude in the void. You need to go enter the void and defeat this bad boy. So it's a first person. First person. You, slow walking around. So, no, was there any animation on screen or just like everything was No, static? the enemies would, would animate like, meh, when you meh, hit them meh, and meh, stuff. Meh. There was there were water animation. The the audio was a high point for the game. Like thunder, rain. Oh wow, it had sound effects. Yeah, it had Great. sound effects. The, the <laughs> beginning of the game That's was the a lot of, of outside. A CD. Yeah. The the beginning of the game was a lot of outside environments Getting until you got into mazes. the dungeons. Right, yeah. Yeah, you get all that and you'd have What fun. weapons did you have? You had all kinds of weapons. You had a, you had a party, and you had uh, people who can use Classes? magic and bows. Classes, so you had and like the, a, a warrior. Yeah, you have a warrior, and the thing is, you'd want ranger. to put them in slots in your party where they were most uh, beneficial. Okay. You know, for you can th- move them around. Yeah, that's the thing. But the, but you'd want to put like your warrior in the front, like your barbarian in the front, because he'd be able to attack and you could dual wield put your tank and put your tank in the front that's what you have to do and then you can put like your your wizard or your range your, your in range, the back your rangers your in, in the, the front. back mm-hmm. yeah you throw them in the back because if you put them in different so slots you can aggro. yep i know how it works yeah and, th- and this was one of the games where the enemies the enemies work together and they would also chase you Bastards. and do all that so you so that's a lot of the times that you have to pull the enemy they chase you so it's it. like back up out of the back to screen back boop yeah boop. <laughs> and they show up you're like dang it go left left yeah, Turn so that's around. that's how Boop. it worked. It was one of the first games that that had all. Let me those ask you this: Could you? Tropes. I get to a spot. Can I turn around? And like, say, say yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm in a room. Can I turn around and look at all four walls of the room, and then I see a door, then walk to the door, yeah. and I can turn around yes. and then look. Okay, I hate those games. Um, Tiny Toons Adventures and that. Um, okay, it's like, oh, you want to see a little footage? Let me show you some footage, just so you can shut your face. I basically want you to shut your face. Okay, look. So he had a. He, you're not looking. He had a dash button. I see that. Okay, and you had little puzzles you could solve. I I I love the the graphics though. Do you I like the graphics? I'm typing in dun, Dungeon Explorer, and I hit the screen with my knuckle, and <laughs> I came up with my video. <laughs> Dung beetle. <laughs> All I got was the D U N G. And I accidentally hit the screen. So I'm like, oh, did I search for Dungeon? Nope. Dung Beetle. Just got a, a, a playlist of Dung, Dung Beetle, Beetle videos. It's good. Um, anyway, I like these graphics. You had a dash attack. Oh, not it wasn't an attack, but you could dash. And then it, it was a meter. You had a meter. And you jumped on enemies to uh, do it. Uh, like I said, the levels varied from like you had to feed Dizzy Devil in one level. In another level, you had a, a fight Darth. Oh yeah, so bad. This is on the this is on the PC, right? Oh, you got it for Sega CD though. You said this is a Sega CD. They're moving that mouse pretty good. Yeah, to get the um, yeah, you could get the Sega mouse. Gross. Recommended for the game. Use the Sega mouse. Don't use the controller. Like Mario Paint. I love yeah, Mario Paint. Mario Paint was good. Little. Oh look, you could actually slot and stuff. Swatter. Okay. But that was the thing is you had to maintain food and water. Yeah. Okay. I get right? you. All that, but this guy is really. There's your, there are your effects. Okay. So, but um. All right. Maybe not. Maybe not too bad. There's, like there's a little, cool. there's pretty, a little bit of that. Pretty immersive. But then there's also a little bit of. Pretty immersive, I guess. This is it playing without the mouse. Oh god. It's exciting. It's, so it's actually awful. really good. Like, oh, it's so awful. I want to kill. There was a game on the Turbo Graphic 16, which I might have talked about on the show, called Double Dungeons. Oh my god. And let me tell you a couple things about Double Dungeons. Oh, do you have to? Phenomenal. It was smooth. This or is, as I remember it, Double Once Dungeons. again, you go, you're delving into another game that's not the game we're supposed to talk about. I know that because Double Dungeons was good. It was like this, but good. Find me. Find me. Okay. Oh, my God. Tiny Toons. All right. So we're obviously going to do a Tiny Toons RPG. Yeah. 
do we want to do can we do an isometric one like uh diablo you mm, well, you want to do keep, first person keep it first person okay 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 that's cool all right our our dub for us here we but go but how about this though can we providing some oh please don't play i don't want to i don't want to hear anyone else's voice on this all right that's the wrong video to show me i want to do okay so is it it's it's going to be in in like toontown or wherever they're from right and it's going to be like that those graphics those cartoony graphics and all the dungeons but can it not be dungeons can it be i mean they're, they're dungeons essentially but can it be is that double dungeons no what was that for turbo graphics 16. oh turbo graphics yeah but I'm, this isn't you don't understand it's just not it just keep keep talking. can we can we i want to do it in like i said in a tune type of world with those nice with those nice cartoony graphics and i want to do it like so this game you're fighting in like the kitchen you're fighting in, you're not fighting but you're going in the kitchen you're like in the in the library you're let me see where else we got you want to do a library you want to do you're like, like somebody a, walking you through look like house? in a basement like look at these graphics man these are fun graphics man i like this show do you like did you like tiny tunes got little mini games i say we just basically take we basically just take the the whole premise of the tiny tunes and put it into a first person game and now all this stuff you're doing in first person but you get but it's an rpg so you can collect armor yes no yeah you want to look you want to load buster up with some armor oh, yeah but he's but his party members are going to be this was the game okay i'm just gonna i'm gonna give it to you there Here's the game, Double Dungeons. It was it, every it level was worse, just though. in the dungeon, and it was a maze, and you had to try to uh, find your way out. No, I tried to mapping this stuff back worse. in the day. That's worse. It's no good. But however, I can't find any videos where it's two players because obviously people who do YouTube videos on video games don't, don't have, have friends. any friends. Yeah. So the other person would be here, and you'd actually play. Oh, is that what that was? That's what oh, it was. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. So All you'd right. actually have two players that can actually play and go through the dungeons can together. Can you meet up with each other? Would you? Were you oh, able yeah, to see can, each other? I don't remember. If you can see each other. I, I I can't recall, but I know you can like walk down the same corridor, all that stuff. Okay, so back fun. to ours. And you'd always find like a shop in the dungeon. Like, Who is this dude hanging out in the dungeon waiting well, to sell like, you things? That was like the 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 towers. Remember the, the deadly towers I had? Yeah, like why on there's earth is there a just shop. a shop? Yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, it's just so like, there's definitely a shop in this one, and his party members are going to be um what were the what were the characters' names again? It was it was Dizzy Devil, Buster, Babs. What was the duck's name? It was the Daffy Duck. Daffy clone. Duck. He was green. I forget his name. The duck. So yeah, those are his party members, and they each have a class. Yeah. But each member, so like each member would be a different class. So Dizzy Devil's gonna be like, let him be the. Uh... Wait, no, is he in it or they fight him? Man, they he's an he's a he's a protagonist in this. What's the matter? What are you doing? <laughs> oh yeah, he's... Make sure I don't wanna. <laughs> Well, like hunched over and fat. All right, come on, give me, <laughs> fat. Give me, give me something. Add, add to this. So I feel like you've freaking contributed to this, man. Sometimes one of us just goes with it, and the other I'm one just, just. I'm just so like we just went from Muppet Babies to Tiny Tunes, dude. Yeah, it's great, right? You know what we didn't do like is a... we didn't add an ampersand in the, in the last one, which stinks. See that? Yeah. Do you wanted to go for it. See? Yeah. It is what it is. Um, I don't know what to tell you, man. I I I, I kind of like it. I, I I think it's actually kind of fun. I'd play this game. I'd play a, a Tiny Toons RPG. Um, I like it, man. Each each of those characters has a class. You could pick your party. Like it's gonna be like it's a single player thing, and it's gonna be the same. What if it was thing. a point and click side scroller? <laughs> you wanted me to give you some information. Forget everything you just talked about, and we're going. <laughs> It's a point and click side scroller. RPG. It's the point and click side scroller. That's it. Usually it's like the point and click, it's the reward system where oh, I wonder what I'm gonna get when I click on this. Oh my god. This thing's gonna be nope. You're clicking just to jump over that. You know, toilet but paper you have to put the mouse controller. It's the mouse controller. You can put the mouse pointer on the thing you want to jump over? Is it like that? No, you'd have to say, I wanna jump him here. You'd have to jump him. 
If you oh, click man. on them. It really ruins the game I had. Like you click the Dang. character and he jumps or something like Dang, that. Dang, I hate it, but I kind of like it. And but then I you also like hate drag it. the mouse to the side and he like follows it. And yeah, well, yeah, like, like you know, one of those. Oh, jeez. All right. Like Diablo sure. style. Like Diablo style. Okay. But side scroller. But a side scroller. With cartoon graphics. Yeah, but who's going to be in this game? <laughs> oh, even. Oh, sorry. Sorry, buddy. Just made everybody yawn. What? Well, it's gonna be all the characters, the Titan characters. It's all gonna be. It's, it's gonna be the same <laughs> game. Just we're adding point and click. The, the thing we're getting at. Well, it's an RPG. But it's an RPG. How about so. they're in the dungeons? Yeah, it's an RPG. Yeah. They're I trying said to that. get out of the dungeons. Yeah, but it's side scroller. Yes. It's a side scrolling double. Uh, I was gonna say double dungeon crawler. It's a side. Did I ever tell you about dungeon, double yeah, dungeon? Yeah, you did actually. I accidentally I got that game one time. How's that? How's that? I owned a Turbo Graphic sixteen. Yeah. Growing up. When it came out, which cost so, like a lot of money, it might have. I don't know. They, I didn't buy it. I got so a, expensive. Back Santa then. gave it to me, man. Oh, Santa, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He made true. it. His elves made oh, it. Oh, elves made it. Yeah. The elves made it and gave it to me. So here's what happened. When you walk into PC Richards, or sorry, not PC Richards and Son. I believe this was service merchandise. Oh, you know I worked there. Did you? Yep. I went to service merchandise, and. The conveyor belt store. Yep, I worked there. Yeah. Did you put things on the conveyor belt? Yeah. Did you ever ride? No, 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 no. I sold them. I sold lots of vacuums. I was good at selling vacuums. That was the only thing I sold. I just bought a steam cleaner last week. Did you? Yeah. Is it any good? Yeah, man. Pretty good. Recommended. Highly recommended. I can borrow it. Thanks. Sure. I don't have any rugs in my house. I have. I have airy rugs. Cleans floors. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It has a. It has a hardwood hardwood floor adapter. Oh, I should do that because I have all hardwood. Just a hard floor adapter. Yeah. Anyway, go on. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> welcome to steam cleaner talk welcome to the interesting responsibility talk yeah <laughs> i went there one time and when you go into the store and your your mom tells you okay you can go pick out a video game and i said oh, oh yeah i can pick out a video game i'm so excited okay like walls of genesis titles and like three turbo graphics <laughs> titles two of them which i already have oh God. so what do i have what do i have to do i have to well, I want to get something because I said I can get a video game, and I can't. Yeah. I can't blow this opportunity to be like, no, I don't want one because oh, I'll get two next week, or I'll get one next week. And what are you talking about? I brought you out to get one. You didn't want anything. You're not going back. Yeah, out not there getting again. another one. Yeah. Yeah, you're not It'll getting a long another time one. before I get another one. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Like how many times? I don't know you why we be, made your mom sound like how that. How many but... times? How many times are you gonna be? How many times are you gonna find yourself at service merchandise? <laughs> right. Being with, told like, basically a free pass to get a right, video game. Exactly. Yeah. They only had double dungeons. You get, you get, you get what you get, and you don't get upset. That's what. So that's what I'm there. Double dungeons. They probably had like a copy of Legendary Axe. Yeah. And like a copy of uh, R Type. Yeah. And I had R Type and Legendary Axe. Yeah. So what are you gonna do? Right. Double dungeons. You're get it double is. dungeons. Yeah. So I got double dungeons, and I was like, <laughs> I know nothing about this game. I'm not really into it, but I got it, and I played it a lot. You liked it? I played it a lot. It was a good game. Did you play with any friends? Yeah, I played with my friends. Actually, that's not true. I had one friend who did have a Turbo Graphics, and he had. It's so funny because he had the five player adapter. There was a yeah, five player five multi player random five instead of okay. It was five. Yeah. It was five. Okay, come on. Yeah, five up in their game. You know, like no. And uh, he had the adapter, but he had no multiple multiplayer games. He oh, only had games why that were single have player. The adapter without but the he games? had the adapter because he had everything. Yeah, okay. So it's like they got him the turbo graphics, they got him the adapter, they got him another controller. Never had a game. But I'm like sitting there and I'm like, I have double dungeons and I think I had something else that was like two players. I don't remember what else I had. Okay. But anyway, I had another two player game and I'm just sitting like world class baseball. Okay. Right? Two players. Yeah. So I had that and I'm playing and I'm like, man, I really wish I could just like permanently borrow your five player adapter. Wait, did you but need he, the adapter it over. to play two players? Yes, because it only had one controller port. Oh my god! That so you had to plug dumb. the adapter in if yeah. you wanted to just play a two-player game. Oh my god! And obviously, most player, most games were two players, except for like some wrestling game. They had this Royal Rumble, yeah, game that or Battle Royale, I think it was, and it was a wrestling game, five players, hmm. kind of cool. So um, anyway, that's what happened there. That's crazy. So I, my, he would come over once in a while with the. You adapt you know, the, and you'd play the double tur- dungeons, Turbo yeah. Tap, I believe it was called. Oh, okay, yeah. And we'd plug it in familiar, and, yeah. and he'd bring his controller and play double dungeons. Yeah. You know, but it's like we always play on like the first dungeon. It's like, I know how to get out of the first dungeon. Hit the slime and the monsters and get out. But there, 
there was this Turbo uh, magazine, Turbo Graphics magazine right. that came out. I forget what it was called, but on the back page they had like you know cheats and passcodes and oh yeah secrets and and stuff. And I think I said this in another episode. I do believe I remember talking about yeah. this, but the passcode was missing a digit. There were like it was like twenty six letters or something like that that you needed to type in for the passcode. To get it said here, get to the last level because I'd always get to the next level and write down the passcode. Yeah, yeah. But man, there were like eighty levels or some ridiculous thing like that. I don't yeah. know how many there were. Um, so it was. I can research, but there were so many levels in the game that it was like I'll, I'll never get there because I can't even get out of like level twelve. Right. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, let me just put it in, and I can just beat the last level and everything like that. It was missing a digit. So if it was like twenty six digits that I needed to to put in, like yeah. you know, it characters, had, it had twenty five. It only had twenty five. Never knew but, what it was. So I I remember going through and like the last digit like. My mind, you know, when you're, I don't know how old I was, 13, 14 years old, when this thing, you know, came out, my mind is, oh, the last digit, they forgot to put it on there. So I go through and I try everything, A, B, C, D, you know, yeah. numbers, ones, and I try to, I find, I try to get it, yeah. and none of the combinations work. So, so I don't know which, it could have been. It could have been the fourth one that they skipped, and they just went one, oh, two, three, five. Okay, yeah, you know what I mean. I would have assumed it was the last one too. Yeah, exactly. No, uh, it didn't. It never worked. And I remember, I think I wrote in the magazine. I was like, "Dude, you guys, you left out a digit. Like, you left yeah, out you a, left a out character. A, yeah. Like, I all I want to do wow. is play this last level. They never answered. Yeah, you. and they never, they never answered me. Now, yeah, before I never the got internet, you couldn't just I look up. It. I know that's the thing is now I can look on oh, there and be like, "Oh, bring God. it to the last level." Yeah, yeah. Guarantee yeah. I can find the code for it. Anyway, so what are we calling our game? Oh. Tiny Toons Dungeon. Toon Master, Tiny Master. <laughs> Tiny oh, what was that called? Dungeon Master. <gasps> Tiny Master Toons. Like Toons. <laughs> Tiny Master, you want to call it? Tiny Master Toons. Like two. Toons. The letter two, the number two. Toons, because it's Dungeon Master Two. Apostrophe N S. Apostrophe and apostrophe S? No, it would be NS. The tunes. Right? Yeah, the Roman numerals. Roman numerals. So it would be I Apo- I N S. Tunes. But apostrophe. There's no apostrophe. No? Why? It's one word, <laughs> tunes. Because okay. you don't read the I I. You read that as I I, then. I don't care. That's fine. Uh, what, so what is it? Tiny Master Tunes? T- Tiny Master Tunes. Two and S. That is really dumb. Uh, great, man. So let's look. Looking, uh, looking back at this. What did you think? What do you think? Looking back at this, let's do a recap, shall we? Yeah. Uh, we have Coleco and Vision. We have, <gasps> oh my God! I forgot about that. We have Punky and Clark. Oh yeah. We have Babies of the Earth. And we have Tiny Master Tunes. I like Punky and Clark. I think, and I love. I, think I like I the like title. Clark. I like the title, Coleco and Vision. How can she be his foil? Huh, Punky? Yeah, like Clark's foil. She has jewelry made of kryptonite. Well, she always had kind of weird things going on. Yeah, maybe she's maybe she found you know she went to a jewelry place. Man, we talked a lot about our our things. I feel like we didn't do. There's a like code for in front of the last boss door. Oh my God. <laughs> the zero is just saying that's a zero. And no, that's I get a letter, it. But it was, it, it was a lot. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight, it nine, is a lot. Ten, nine, twelve. So Counting 24 f- characters. 24 characters. Yeah, you're right. 20. Oh, you said 26. It was 24. 24. Yeah. 24, but it had 23 printed in there. Oh, man. And it killed me, man. Killed me. Damn. Well, I'll tell you what. Yeah, I just figured I'd give you one for the end, just to finish off. Just to top it off. You regress again, man. Six in the last. This man, I'm tired, and you have man. eight in this one. I'm tired, man. Yeah, two, two what extras. Happens. Yeah, good stuff, man, the I guess. Tunes, extras. Listen, I, I want to apologize because we, this seemed like we didn't talk, we didn't actually create much. What are you talking about? We started strong, and then we kind of waned. What does that mean? Uh, just, I, I think I we did a really like, good job. I feel like we, we, really tang- we were really tangential on this episode. We there was a lot of stories by Ken. Ken told lots of side stories, which is don't get me wrong, fine, it's fine. Hey, listen, listen, Kenny, this is what this show is about, man. We're here to. It's about the nostalgia. It's about the reliving of these things. Don't you agree? 
Wouldn't you agree? You would agree. I'm agreeing for you. Kenny agrees with me and what I just said. And what did I say? I don't know. But anyway. What was the name of your game? Buster Busts at Loose? Buster Busts Loose. Tiny Toon, Tiny Toon Adventures, Buster Busts Loose. Exclamation. Whoa. It's late. You ever see, you ever see people on the internet and it's like, I want to lose weight or I want to, or, or he made me lose the game or they, they, loose, they and I right, hope loose. they lose. And they're right, loose. They lose, yeah. <laughs> Nobody understands. Like, they're like, can't be L-O, Lowe's? <laughs> What's Lowe's? You know those people are like sitting there going, no, there are two O's in there. Oh, there's definitely two O's in there. There's definitely yeah. two Lou. Definitely two O's. There's definitely, oh, there's definitely two O's. What's wrong with people? And I, I hate when they use the word two. T, T when they use T-O for yeah. also, when they mean also, yeah. in addition to. And you see it the other way around, too. Oh, and they, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, it does, what, it, the way I taught myself how to use the correct way of, of two, T-O-O, is like, oh, yeah, me too. Like they add extra O on that for emphasis. <laughs> Just gets an extra O for emphasis. Not on loose, though. I don't know. I don't know how it works. People, people. I don't want to loose. I think that's a, that's a case of people overthinking things. Or oh, they're dumb. <laughs> well, on that note. On that note, we just uh, cut out everyone's. Yeah, uh, anyway, that's it. Let's Guys, thanks how, for listening. Let's see how dumb you are. Demand to be on the show. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if if you, if how dumb you could get on the show. <sighs> Yeah, whatever. Just make us look dumb. Yeah, you can just make us look dumb. We anyway, do that ourselves anyway. Anyway, uh, Kenny, I want I wanted to thank uh, I want to thank Kenny for being here. I want to thank happy Ken- to be here. I want to thank Kenny's happy tablet be for here being again. here and, and having little do you know I'm just a guest host. This is you know, 38 <laughs> episodes deep. I'm still just a guest host because nobody else. Has oh, it's up called, to yeah, he's just a guest host. Yeah, we announced like 10 episodes ago that we were going to have a guest host. Oh yeah, still we did, didn't we? Out. Yeah. Oh yeah, that there's didn't, people are still waiting. Yeah, I don't think that, anybody's waiting. That didn't pan out. No, we got one person in the wings, and it's just it's it's, it's, it's just, timing, man. It's, it's a lot. Of, it's, it's timing, it's sticky, man. Honey Listen, coated wing is, that they can't climb is, out yeah, of. Yeah, life is just. It is in there. Passing us by. Is Talons anyway. are squeezing down on the the throat. Goodness, you know. Anyway, look, we're gonna end this. All right, see you later, Ken. Bye. Wait, I didn't stop it yet. I was waiting for something you to say. You didn't say anything. I have nothing else to say. Beaky, beaky. <laughs> beaky the bird. Beaky bird. The beaky bird. Oh. Beaky Brewster. Ah, oh, Beaky Brewster. <laughs> <laughs>